Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this one's just going to be a quick update on the Starsky and Hutch Torino project. Um, I was meant to retake this video just because we covered a few things in, in the last USACC video that I didn't want to be repeating myself too many times um, throughout this. Uh, yeah, I was meant to upload it, do that and upload it Sunday, but you know, I, I, I did have other things to do, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, I think this is my first opportunity I've had to, to get back to the bench and do a, a little bit more to 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 this project. Um, before I do cut into that, there the one there was one thing I covered in the in the last video, and it was uh, just sharing uh, Paul's shop card that he sent to me. And uh, the reason I'm showing this again is because I was so wrapped up in trying to remember uh, what the USACC stood for. I actually called uh, Paul's channel Left, Left Coast Customs. You were very kind enough to not to mention it, Paul, but, you know, I just wanted to give you a, a, another proper shout out to, to uh, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Um, so I will put the link in the, strip, uh, in the description again. So go on, go over and check out uh, Bella, Paul and George's uh, channel. Again, it's a great channel. You'll absolutely love it. Covers absolutely everything. And he he does, he, and Paul does upload a, a lot of videos. So he's, he's a very hard working uh, YouTuber. Um, and he's, you know, he's doing very well. So, you know, hats off to him. And uh, again, Go and, go and click uh, on the link in the description and go over and check out his videos because, you, you know, you'll, if you've not already done so, you know, you'll end up going back through his whole catalogue and watching every video because there's just great content throughout there. So, yeah, with that said, again, moving on a little bit. Um, so, obviously, we, uh, the idea of, of doing a quick build, uh, doing a box stock build was my true intention on this one, but unfortunately, I mean, it was, I think it's there was just a few things with it which I, I wasn't that keen on. Obviously, the wheels which we covered last time, um, even though they are a little bit, they do look a little bit custom on this, um, really more for the you know, the. the the tyres wouldn't have been this uh, wide on on the original one, but I'm I'm ten times more happier than what was included in the kits. Uh, but yeah, it is going a little bit custom, is this one? Um, and the other thing was, I, I just don't want the paint job to be ruined. To be quite honest with you, sir. Uh, and I was looking at the, these decals, and there was two things that was really putting me off using these decals i'm sure they go on lovely and you know in the right hands and what have you but um i, I, I just uh i didn't want the clear coat ruining the decal and ruining the whole paint job so and me having to do it twice i mean there is a very good chance i might have to do this thing again uh if it don't work out and just use the decals uh um but the other thing was it was just they're very very white these um these decals to be quite honest with you and the reason i don't build too many new tool kits is because i, I do like to build like a, a period or capture the period um from from whatever i'm trying to recreate and this is obviously a a, a 70s uh a 70s TV show um, and I, do, I did really want to capture that and I, I almost want once I finish this, this kit to, to look like a bit of an old yellowed photo or yellowed still from 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 the TV series like rather than going on Google and looking at a you know a really nicely image replica of the car so to speak and so I thought I just wanted to tone down the white stripe a little bit. Um, and I thought maybe like an ivory white or something would, with a bit of a, a yellow tinge would probably give me the look I'm after. I mean, that that's all I can do on, on these kind of things. To, you know, is just use colours to try and, and 
and capture that capture the time period rather than than anything else because there's not not a lot you can adapt on newer kits i don't think unless you're going into you know into the realms of full custom and way putting different chassis and stuff like that on them but so i have primed i've obviously primed the kit up um primed up in gray primer i was really happy with, first of all i was really happy with the this uh how the door door lines look now because i did scribe them quite deeply and they were a little bit tricky to to get scribed properly because they Again, I, I really didn't like how how they looked on the on the on the kit body without anything being done to them, and I, I don't really want to use black washing in panel lines if I can if I can help it. Like so, so we primed up in grey, and then we just based it up in black. Now we've obviously based it up in black because I didn't really want to cop out and just paint a white stripe. I did want to include the black pin stripe around it, so. This is obviously the first stage. Um, so what we'll do is we'll now this now it's all based in black and we got the, the pinstripe down. I'll give the whole body, um, including all all other parts which which are going to be painted red. You know everything. I'm going to give everything a coat of ivory white. I think the ivory white will really give me the look I'm after. And then um, obviously once we've once I've let that dry for a couple of days, I'll I'll mask this line up in here. I'll obviously keep the pinstripe on, but I'll have to really carefully use Tamiya tape or something similar to to cover the white area up. Um, and the reason why I'll paint the bonnet white is just because I don't once I paint the red, I don't want it anything being off colour, and and the white will give it a nice a nice undercoat as well rather than painting over black and what have you so uh, hence why i'm going to do the whole body white like this rather than trying to just paint a, a pinstripe on there so uh, but i think I've, i mean it took it didn't take too long to be quite fair maybe maybe half an hour 40 minutes to, to mask this up i mean it's been masked up like this for a good few days now just waiting for the time where i can quickly give it a, a coat of that ivory white and you know I think we got it pretty even across the across the roof and and down the sides and they pretty much look the same either side so so I'm pretty pleased with that like and it could all go horribly wrong to be quite fair I'm I'm, I'm not ruling that out that you know, if it doesn't work out, then it is literally going to get stripped, and I'm going to have to use them decals regardless. Uh, um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, it's it's pretty much there now. I mean, we're doing been doing quite uh, we've been doing other bits to it to be quite honest, just to try and move the build on a little bit, just so I can. I'll just take the chassis off. I mean, one. Once I take this chassis off, it, it's not going back on again until final assembly. So I, I just thought I'd pop it back on once for this video. So I'm just going to quickly go off camera because I don't want to be breaking anything, to be quite honest with it. So they're not there. They are a very tight chassis to fit in. So as you can probably hear in the background as I'm trying to prise it out of there. But oh, that was a bit tasty light, but... Yeah, we've, um, I gave the wheels a, a good black wash just to tone down the chrome quite a bit. I, I was half tempted to paint them sort of a grey colour. Um, but I, I thought the black wash really toned it down enough to, to not have to do that. And in all fairness, this chassis would make a, a great uh, base for like a, a race car with all this interior de this lower detail and what have you so uh, but um yeah we've pretty much got the chassis built up now not gone too much into it in detail i just did a bit of um obviously painted it in the in the in the red oxide and then just dusted the black up the sides and painted the top all black and what have you so uh, but um 
But yeah, I mean, it's looking, there's, there's nothing special about it. I've just been painting the, the exhaust and I've just given everything a black wash. Might have a few other bits of detail paint to go on, but, you know, the wheels are all glued on permanently now, you know, it, it sit, sits flat on the bench and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, that, that just really needs the engine dropping in. Uh, dry train putting in and like say my paint and the shocks and what have you I did actually once I sprayed it all because these were I had to glue all these on before um, I did go over and paint the the axles black just to get all the red oxide off them and you know and any over spray and what have you but I did actually think I'd paint them in gloss black but when I looked at it it was sat in black so it, it does blend into the chassis anyway, and I don't think I'm going to do anything else with that, to be quite honest, unless I've, I've got a bit of extra time, or it really bothers me where I'll just go over and gloss black over the over the axles and cross member and what have you. But so that's pretty much ready for the for the body to go on permanently. Like I say, um, got the engine to the point where. It just needs wiring now. I've got all the holes uh, drilled out for, for the wiring, but I did change up a few things. And like I say, because we are, it is going, like I say, with the wheels and what have you, it's, it's, it is going a little bit custom oil. It's, it's definitely not a box stock kit anymore anyway. So, but I just, I really hated this air filter they, they put in there and I wasn't too keen on valve covers either to be quite honest with you that air cleaner looks like something you just see in a in a die cast kit in a in a die cast toy to be quite honest with you and i was gonna i was gonna put a four barrel on it um but you know i'd, I'd sanded like when i was building this engine block you know i'd, I'd sanded all the top flush and you know and sanded the bottom of the manifold and to be quite honest, it would have been a nightmare ripping off that manifold. And, and in all fairness, if, if I knew I'd, I'd be painting the stripe, I'd be wanting to do something different with the engine because I really don't like what they included in this one. And and uh, yeah, and changing the wheels, everything really what makes this particular issue a, a Starsky and Hutch issue. I would have made me life a lot easier and just used the use the stock version. One thing because it's moulded in white and not not this horrible plastic which just wants to pick up everything. Um, you know any any lines where the, the plastics met each other in the mould. You know is constantly trying to to show that through the paint. No matter how much you sand it, it's just a nightmare to work with this this coloured plastic. I don't know if it's a really cheap red plastic they've used in this, but it seems a lot worse than most. Um, so yeah, I would have used the stock version because I wouldn't have needed the wheels and I'm painting the stripe and it would have had the four barrel in it, uh, which I probably would have put in this rather than anything else. But because I had that manifold on, like I say, I, I just went through the parts box. Found some um, Cobra valve covers and a and then air cleaner and could kind of thought you know even even though it, it, it does make it a little bit custom it it, it could have been something that they'd done to to soup it up so to so to speak and but I think you know that that's looking all right and I think once it's all wired up and in in the car it'll it'll look grand enough like and. In all fairness, I've said it a million times before, but I never really display anything uh, with with the bonnets open anyway, or the hoods open. Um, but we, yeah, we've been doing other stuff like you know all the all the interiors painted, but um, there's a lot of decal work in this. You get a, you do get a lot of interior decal stuff. Um, so that that's all just waiting for the decals to go on. Uh, I've did. I did sort of put the glue the seats in and did a bit of flocking on the on the carpets and the parcel shelf. I wouldn't have usually flocked the parcel shelf, but again, even this black plastic, it, it's it's just a nightmare. And I've 
and you could see you again with the like the body you can see where the, the plastic sort of melted into each other from different areas and there's lines going across in yeah i tried sanding it it just won't go away and under the black so i blocked the parcel shelf as well you know just to, to cover that up but yeah other than that there's you know it's pretty much it's pretty much you know it's really the paint that's my decision to paint the white stripe that has put put this project so behind and just because it, it needs the time uh you need to be in the right head space for this kind of thing i mean like i say i've been doing as much as i can to get final assembly as close as possible so you know you can't really see on here but you know i've black washed all the grill um all the bumpers i've, I've I've completely painted over with black wash um, just to tone the, the chrome down a little bit and again you can't really see it on this chrome tree because it's so reflective but there's it does really pick up on the um, the, the nerf bars and what have you so or the, the you know the bumper bars and and I think once it's on the model you, you'll you'll see all that that black washing a lot better and you know, we we glued the lights in and blackwashed the headlamps and put the tail lights in, so they're all pretty much ready, like just to glue on now. So, but I think what I'll, what I'll have to do next is, um, yeah, what I'll have to do next is before I paint it, um, I, there is still masking to do. I'll put it off just for taking this photo, uh, taking this video, but I'm. Um, I'm gonna mask off the interior in the, the the engine bay. Essentially, this firewall should be should be body body color, but I am really that fussed about that kind of accuracy. To be quite fair, I just want it to turn out a nice paint job. So we can see detail all that up in, in other ways. So, so yeah, and I because I, I I did paint underneath as well. Um, I usually brush paint and black after I painted it, so but I might try and mask, um, mask all this off inside. Just so I'm not having to to redo it or paint the whole on the side of the body black after I've after I've done all this other paint work. Um, you know, because that that's just another job which takes an hour, and I'd, I'd rather just have a nice nice clean finish underneath and not have to redo all that so i will just do one more quick clip um because i've got a little bit of time this afternoon um and i do want to just get it into into the white just so then i can leave it a couple of days mask off that the, the white stripe and then just cover over with the red so i will see you in a second Right then, well, we've just had about another hour on this. Uh, all I all I needed to really do is, like I said, is just continue masking up uh, the body for paint. Um, I used Tamiya uh, Tamiya Fine Line uh, tape down the to mask off the engine bay, but pretty much everything else was just standard tape. I'm sure I'll have a couple of little bits to to touch up underneath once once it's in colour, but um this is this is going to be the way it's going to have to stay until it's it's uh time to clear coat really so i think um yeah i just wanted to to sort of show you what what steps i'm doing obviously next is going to be taping up uh this white bit inside here i think i didn't want to lay it down too heavy i just wanted it just enough to to cover um so in a in a day or so, what I'll do is I'll just mask off this stripe, um, keeping the pin stripe in place, and then we'll just shoot it all with the red, and then I can just wait a couple of days for that to dry. Luckily on this one, there's not much file to be file work to be done. It's just really around the front and rear screens, a bit a bit around the side windows. You got a couple of bits just underneath the. Um, headlamps and a, and a few other bits and pieces i suppose we've got the the rocker panels to do i've got it it's going to be a nightmare isn't it yep spoke too soon um so yeah there's quite a bit of chrome foiling to do on this so 
I'll set to work on that in a few days, I reckon, um, and then I can just get it clear coated and then we can get it polished and, and done and dusted. Um, I think uh, I think towards the weekend I'll I'll upload something else other than stuff I'm working on. Uh, I've had my my brother kindly gifted me some stuff, so I would like to show a bit on, of that on on the channel. And I've got a few of the little bits and pieces, and I may I may start marking up the. Now I've got an excuse to leave this for a couple of days. I may start marking up that. Uh, 54, 55 Ford for the for for the rooftop, and we might get a little bit of a start on that as well. So, um, so yeah, I think we'll just close this video off now, um, and we'll see you in a few days. Okay, see you, bye.